This is Sam Junctional Tourniquet by Sam Medical. SJT, as it's also known, is made up of five components. A ruggedized belt that leverages patented SAM auto stop buckle technology, an inflatable target compression device, or TCD, a second TCD with an attached extender, a hand pump to inflate the TCDs, and an auxiliary strap to control junctional bleeds of the upper extremity. Before applying SJT, your patient must first be exposed to the extent that is appropriate for the given situation. If possible, a second responder should apply direct pressure to the femoral artery while you prepare SJT for use. Locate the bony prominences on the side of the hips, the greater trochanters, where SJT should be applied. Slide the belt underneath the patient, positioning the target compression device, or TCD, over the area to be compressed. If one of the TCDs is positioned directly on an open wound, first use sterile gauze or hemostatic dressing to cover the contact area. Hold the TCDs in place and connect the belt using the Fastex buckle. Then, pull the brown handles away from each other until you hear and feel the click of the auto stop buckle. While maintaining tension, immediately press the precision strap down onto the Velcro surface of the SJT to secure it in place. Don't be concerned if you hear a second click after the precision strap is secured. The correct force will be maintained. Use the hand pump or any lure lock syringe to quickly inflate the TCD until hemorrhage is controlled. Utilize both TCDs to occlude blood flow bilaterally. Continue to monitor patient during transport for hemorrhage control and adjust the device if necessary. The SAM Junctional Tourniquet is intended to be left on for up to four hours. Remove only at a definitive care facility. Unlike the locking True Force buckle found on the new SAM XT Extremity Tourniquet, SAM Auto Stop Buckle does not lock, allowing you to quickly reposition the SJT for proper alignment if necessary. Learn more about SAM Junctional Tourniquet at sammedical.com.